Thank you for joining us to celebrate 25 years of building hope. I was living in Mexico. I had just turned 50. I learned then about this bishop. His name was Vasco de Quiroga. He was an attorney in Spain and became ordained a priest and eventually was sent to Mexico. At that time, colonial Spain desired the wealth and resources from Mexico, and they were inclined to use the indigenous people of Mexico as slaves. So Quiroga saw this, and he began to, I think, have certainly a sense of the dignity of each human person. They did not belong in enslavement. He began to think that if he could create a sort of industry around Morelia in Michoacan, that they could begin to trade with each other. I read about that, and then I'd start going, taking the bus, and I'd go to a different town each weekend. One of them was son called Santa Clara de Cobre, which is copper. So everybody in that town made copper products. A whole other town just made guitars. He had about seven or eight industries, and eventually the people got really good at what they were doing, they could trade with each other, and they also then began to create products that the Spaniards would buy as well. So I thought, how did he come up with this? I mean, I wanted to have lunch with him, you know? Just like, what would you do in Santa Ana? I'm no Vasco de Quiroga. However, if he could figure this out in 17th century Mexico, what could we do in Orange County? I didn't know exactly what to do, but I knew we should do something. And after 25 years, thank God. On behalf of everyone at Hope Builders, we want to thank all of the donors and our premier sponsors for moving young adults' lives from poverty to prosperity.